Built in 1978, Hometown Elementary School wasn't designed for maximum energy efficiency, but that hasn't stopped the school from becoming the most energy efficient school in the county two years in a row. We are very open with the, the students in terms of what it is that we're trying to accomplish to make, make a less of a footprint on the earth. And they're aware of that. They're aware of, of that terminology. It's a lot of little things, things like turning off unnecessary lights and unused equipment and reducing the heat in unoccupied rooms. But it all adds up. And we try to teach our kids not to waste. You know, when they go through this salad bar, we always tell them to, you know, take what you eat and eat what you take. You know, that's our motto. I think one of the things is, is that they understand they individually can make a difference. I think that's the biggest thing and the reason why that's important is because if we could do that as a tiny little school, you know, a tiny school, to everybody be aware of that, that will catch on. And if you're wondering if these lessons are catching on, just ask these second graders. Sometimes when I save power from my room, I, when I leave, I turn on my TV and, pa and my lights off. When I go up to my nene's, we, to, she has a bunch of pop and I drink a lot of them and she has cans and whenever we drink a whole can, we put it in the recycling bin. I turn out the lights, turn off the TV, um, and help my and help my mom to uh, turn, help me turn off all the lights for my my sisters in her bed in her bedroom or somewhere when she's asleep. Students at hometown are learning more than just reading and math. They're learning to be good citizens who understand their role and their responsibility to the community they live in. There's an excitement and enthusiasm about trying to, you know, um, make a difference and make a difference in terms of what we do on the individual level. And by turning off a few lights, these teachers hope to turn students on to a lifelong commitment to sustainability. In Putnam County, I'm Tom Aloise for Environment Matters.